It's 25th of June, we're still in lockdown and it's bloody hot. Come and have a look round our van. Hi, it's Andy here. We're just going to do a tour of our motorhome. It's a six meter Eldis Accordo 125. Um, well, actually, as is the Marquis version, it's called the Marquis Majestic 125. We've had it three years, just run out of warranty. A uh, little story there, which I'll tell you later. It's a fixed bed and it's got two passenger seats. It's supposed to be three berth, but the single berth is for perhaps someone no longer uh, than five foot in length, uh, so a child perhaps up to ten. It's not ideal, uh, it's, it's a two berth caravan really. Uh, but we like it and uh, it fits our needs exactly. Uh, being six metre it's great for moving around the roads and that sort of thing. Um, I think I said a bit earlier about the size of it, or uh, it might be a bit later in the video actually, it depends how I edit it. Uh, it's a 2.2 diesel, uh, it's three years old. Uh, it's got all mod cons and uh, I'll show you around all those um, on the tour now. Front view of the van, this model it's silver at the front. All the Marquis Eldis models are like that, um, it just breaks the colouring up a bit decals down the side which is nice um, and ours is the 6 meter 125 on a long wheelbase 2.2 litre diesel um, Euro 6 so you have to put that funny stuff in with the diesel can't remember what it's called add blue don't have to do that often it's about a tenner um, and it lasts about 5,000 miles it's the hab door to the van on the left hand side um, we put this extra lock on here. Uh, I think we bought it at the show, one of the shows. It's a Fiamma thing. It was fairly easy to install, but it's an extra bit of security on that door, um, which motorhomes desirable to steal. So any extra bits you can put on there, all the better. This is the rear of the van. Um, it's got a camera up there. It's not just a reversing camera. It's on all the time, so it's like looking through a mirror. Um, we do need to adjust it but the screws have seized up so um, yeah we will get around to that eventually. Uh, this model is a fixed bed uh, which you'll see when you see the inside of the van if you haven't already seen it uh, and it's got this garage at the back which is mega. Really glad I've got a garage. Um, if we did want to fit bikes I think we'd have to put the bike rack above or we'd have to put a tow hook on to do it uh, but this garage is ace. I'll show you inside. This is the back of the garage. I don't know if you can see in there because it's a bit of a dull day. So I might take a bit better footage, but uh, it's sort of really the size of the bed. Now oh, that's better. Um, at the minute it's got a lot of fishing gear in there because we've been going fishing out for days, just for days whilst lockdown's been on. There's a little door there as well you can see at the back that's sort of cream coloured so we can get into it from inside as well. Um, and then. There's a cupboard down there that's got the fuse box in and for storage, but eventually what I want to do is stick two big batteries in there because um, the other side of that on the outside is where the leisure battery currently is. Uh, there's a drawer at the back there, um, but it's dead awkward when it's open. You can only really get into it if you lift the bed up. So we've stick stuff in there that we, we don't use that often, but garage definitely. We'll always have a garage on the motorhome. That's where the leisure battery is at the back of the van. It's like 100 amp per hour, I think, and that's where the uh, hookup plugs in as well. Uh, so, if you want to use um, 240 volts whilst you're on site, we're just at home now, just charging stuff up. We don't use um, 240 volt that much. Uh, we generally like to be self sufficient. I think if I'd do anything with this van, I'd maybe try and get another battery uh, to run off the solar. There's the gas locker uh, and as you can see on ours I put that extra um, cap there which is for the refillable gas so uh, we've got refillable gas in ours. 
gas locker opened up as you can see we've got a 12 kilogram refillable gas in there but I also keep a spare six kilogram propane with um, the appropriate uh, you can probably see it at the back there the appropriate um, pipe and uh, fitting on the end of that so if the refillable if it ever runs out if we get somewhere where we can't get it filled we can still go back to the pro the uh, six kilogram propane we use that for the barbecue as well so that's where we fill the water on this model uh, on, as I said the 125 you can see it says it on the door there I think the tank is 90 litres I normally run a hose pipe round and fill it we've got various hoses that we use at sites um, the gauge in the van isn't brilliant so generally I time it um, you can get a little gadget that goes on your hose that tells you how many litres you put in so they're about 20 quid I think I'm thinking of getting one of those the only other way to gauge that you've got it full is it gushes out the overflow underneath the van but it's not sensible doing it that way I think so um, you just refine the way you do it I suppose um, you'll also see there that little white cap well, we've only used it recently we've had the van a year and a half the van's three years old um, it's an outside shower and we've been going to the beach a lot during lockdown and we've been using um, the outside shower and it's really good it just plugs in there it's only cold water but it's great washing sand off your feet um, yeah really good bit of kit um, that's your standard uh, I'll see if I can open it as well okay. that's your toilet refill we are uh, thinking of getting an extra one of them for when we go away for long periods of time I've heard of people doing that keeping it in a couple of bin bags um, so if you can't get to empty it somewhere you've got a spare to put in um, yeah obviously if you're on site it's fine but if you're wild camping you've got to uh, you can't just empty it anywhere um, you've got to uh, sort of empty it at a proper place on this model as well that grey uh, switch there is the drainage for the grey water and that one is where you can drain off your fresh water um, yeah you know obviously when you're wintering down these two vents I can't remember exactly what they're for uh, they're not for the hot water. I think they might be vents for the heating um, But they're just like exhaust vents for that These are the vents for the fridge uh, when we were in France last year It was very hot like 38 degrees and uh, the fridge won't work um, On gas it wouldn't work on electric either actually and I since found out that it was because um, There was too much hot air in these vents. So behind that top vent I've now installed a couple of computer fans hidden in there um, and they just plug in one of the USB sockets in the van so when it's really hot I can switch that on and what it does it sort of draws the air out of there the hot air out I think um, and keeps the back of the fridge uh, a lot cooler yeah it works a treat so to open the van Just slot that down like that, uh, and it's just normal unlocking. But obviously, you've got to remember to de alarm it first. Oh, it was de alarmed, I think. Um, yeah. So, this is the cab with the captain's seats, uh, the hab door there, um, and here's the control panel. Uh, everything on there, uh, lights, pump, awning, lights, um, control for the master. Here's the whale heating uh, and water heater. We're having some problems with that at the minute. That's what I was mentioned about the warranty claim. Uh, warranty's just up, but we're hoping with the lockdown that we'll be able to sort something out there. Um, back to the cab again. Um, some useful cupboards up here. Um, things tend to drop out a bit. I think we need to put some net in there. In fact, I've got some netting in there that I'm going to use. A uh, useful shelf along the front, and uh, same on that side. We've also got um, the sunroof um, with the blinds. Also with the blinds, there are uh, total blackout blinds, and then pull it down that way. Uh, but not on this one. <laughs> You've also got the mozzie blinds. 
but uh, I can't seem to work it on that one so I'll show you on one of the other windows. Uh, we've got the Remus blinds all the way around uh, the front as well, uh, they're pretty good. Uh, we do use them a lot. We have got some of those silver screens that go on the outside, but we tend only to use them in the winter for the conden condensation reasons. So, just go into the hab door so I can sort of zoom out a bit. Uh, that's the seating area. We tend not to use those seats too much. They're not ever so comfortable, although my wife Jill does sit lengthways on them with a big cushion at the back when we're watching TV or whatever. We tend to use the captain's seats, which are very comfortable. Yeah, so down there, um, that is actually where the bed pulls out there, the little bed, but we never use it. We keep the tally under there. Uh, it's a step up there. So as you can see, um, up to the captain's seats is a step up. Not fallen over it yet. Um, thought I would when I first saw it. Um, we have got fully fitted carpets as well that clip in. You can see the clips there, but we've been going down the beach for days out. Um, so it's been getting very sandy in here. So we have taken the carpets out for now. Um, so another skylight just there. Uh, the light's very good in this van. However, the windows round the side, I sort of think there could probably be a few more windows. That's a kitchen window. Um, sort of, you know, come in the hab door, turn right, we're looking towards the back of the van now. Um, here's the seats again. So, um, going towards the back and the bedroom area, uh, yeah, great fixed bed, we absolutely love it. Uh, it's at a good height that you can just turn your back to it and slip your bum on the bed and you're not climbing up to it, it's fairly easy to get in. Uh, some great big cupboards in here got a bit of food in that one but generally it's um it's clothing we keep in these cupboards um made it a bit homely my wife's made some bunting and again big skylight there great for watching the stars at night that one um another window there i'll just open the curtains put the blinds up also mozzie blinds got them working on that one um we sort of think maybe there could have been an extra window really somewhere maybe another window on that side or a window at the back but obviously you're cutting down then on putting a bike rack on or something like that um, so coming back round uh, we've got a couple of things on the wall there um, for storing stuff got the same on that side which is really good and then those cupboards continue along that edge as well so they're on that edge along the back but not on there that's really where you should uh, have your head when you're sleeping we tend to sleep the other way but we're going to try this way because you know you could really make quite a nice um, backrest there if you wanted to uh, but we haven't but we're thinking about it so just coming back out of the van again and back towards the front uh, the kitchen um, four ring cooker uh, just put that thing in there to stop the rattles everyone knows about rattles and we need to clean it from yesterday's little trip uh, so one electric three gas we don't use the electric that much because we don't go and hook up much we try to try and avoid hook up and we wow camp a bit and go on cs's and cl's uh, sink um yeah fairly decent sink with the tap again i do apologize need to clean that from yesterday uh that was my job uh, plenty of electrics, as you can see, two, uh, three pin plugs there and two USBs. This little gadget here, uh, when we were in France last year and it was very hot, um, the fridge wouldn't work. And someone told me that it was the, the vents on the outside of the air is too hot, so that's why the fridge wouldn't work. So I bought a couple of computer, it was like a double fan for a computer, I think it costs about a tenner. Uh, and I fit it behind the vents on the outside and brought the cable up there. That was a nightmare bringing the cable up and then the cable wouldn't actually reach so I had to buy a little extension. So as you know, anyone who's got a motorhome, you do all these little things. Uh, right, so down below here, um, this is under the bed and um, I've actually put this door in. It, it was just a solid panel there with a hole in the middle, um, but I've put a, a door in. Um, I've just emptied the garage, so uh, it's nice and tidy and clean. That garage is brilliant. I don't know how people manage without a garage on a most home, to be honest, where you put all the junk. Uh, and that obviously sits under the bed. 
just here we've got a wardrobe um, I put these shelves in actually the wardrobe went full length and we didn't have anything that long actually um, you know I guess dresses for women but uh, so we decided to put two shelves in and we've just got that and then what we have done for when we're not when we're just out for days we'll put some hooks on the side as well great for hanging coats up uh, when you haven't got stuff hung in there um, back to the kitchen again didn't show you this we've got the oven uh, it's oven and grill and it's quite a decent size we like that um, again that's gas it's not electric and gas just move our fancy tea towel uh, utensil drawer and then there's another cupboard a uh, few pans in there but um, the pumps in there so we don't like putting too much stuff in there uh, we've got this long shelf but again the uh, underslung hot water is down there as well so we don't like putting too much on the bottom there um, and then we've got that shelf there which is pretty good uh, I'll show you in the fridge uh, I'll get it open so quite a decent sized fridge a little freezer compartment at the top which you can take out uh, again there's the vents looking towards the front um, big mirror it's great having a big mirror <laughs> And uh, on the side of the uh, bathroom, there's me just going past, and uh, here's the bathroom. Um, yeah, I don't think we've made many alterations in here. It's a combined uh, unit with a toilet, um, and you can see the shower hanging in the sink there. What I'll do is I'll try and get inside. Uh, really useful cupboard. Um, and then I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but there's the shower unit there. And obviously, you can see me. Um, yeah, we do use the shower, um, which is great when you're trying to wild camp. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, you just seem to get everything wet. <laughs> there is a shower curtain, as in the toilet and everything. So uh, it does have its advantage of having a, having a separate one, but obviously, with a six metre van, you need to make a few uh, compromises, uh, which is what we have done. Um, we have got aircon in here. Um, the people who bought it off had aircon fitted. It needs regassing or something. We've never used it. We could have done with it in France last year when it was blooming 40 degrees. But there you go. We will get it fixed eventually. Um, but generally, I think unless you're going somewhere really hot in July and August, I think you could manage without aircon. Uh, microwave. Uh, that's useful when you are on hookup. Uh, I've just been fiddling about with this cupboard, putting some stoppers on. But what happens now <laughs> is it won't open. <laughs> oh, not very good for the video, is it? Here we go, got it open. So in here, what we've actually got, we've got the solar controller. Uh, it's a true look, true one. It's a dual charger. We haven't actually got anything on the second uh, outlet. Supposedly, you take that to your car battery. Uh, your vehicle battery and you can um, distribute the uh, power across the both. I'm not bothered about that. Um, we've got a 100 watt solar panel. It's it's okay, it could do with being a bit bigger, but I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get another battery. So I'm going to have two batteries in whatever parallel, I think, and uh, I'm going to use that solar charger to keep those batteries topped up. We've never run out of power, but We've never been away for longer than two weeks, and we intend to do that soon. Um, I think that's everything covered. Um, yeah, there's a, li oh, a little table here. Um, I made that table and uh, put the map on it of Europe, which is nice, just so we can see where we're intending to go on our travels. A couple of little things there for all the charging leads. Um, it was a table half that size, and then there's a great big thing that straps on to make it a big table but it was very, very heavy um, and you keep it in the garage, but we didn't like it. So we took them both off and, and we've made this table, which is suitable for us. We can, we can pull it out. Um, we can have our meals on it, that type of thing. So it's, uh, it's fantastic for that. Yeah, I think that's about it. Two cupboards up here. So as you can see, there's, there's plenty of cupboard space. Um, but as I say, we've only ever been for away for two weeks. There's the old man cave with all the bits and bobs, the charger leads, the torches, the head torches, the batteries, the remotes, all that sort of manly stuff. Smoke alarm. We put a couple of lights in here thinking we'd sit down here and read. We, we hardly ever do if we're reading, we're either in bed or we're sat outside. So, uh, yeah, 
um, six meter fixed bed yeah with everything on it it's a I haven't really seen anything else we've had it a year and a half now and I haven't really seen anything else that uh, appeals to me more than uh, than what we've got so that was um, the tour of our Marquis Majestic 125 uh, aka the Eldis Accordo 125 hope you found it interesting uh, we love the van it's uh, it's a great little van serves our purpose uh, takes us all over the place we've had one or two little niggles with it but nothing major um, and we love it um, if you've got any questions you can put them in the comments below um, please subscribe to our channel we've only just started it so it'd be nice to build up some subscribers um, hoping to do some travel videos and maybe some uh, advice on motorhomes that sort of thing so uh, thank you very much uh, see you again soon